The skeleton and the bones of this place are Berlin and the internal additions are a bit more myself. It's finding how they both fit together, which on a personal level is something I just discovered recently too, how I actually fit in with Berlin. So to the right here we have the full custom built kitchen. I'm completely in love with the concrete countertop. Here we have Ashley's bedroom, my roommate. She does her opera practicing in here. Then we have my room. I have my nice little painting corner. I spend a lot of my time in here with the daylight being creative. And then that opens up right into the living room. Kind of how my head is inside, I wanted that to be on the walls. I knew that I wanted the subway tile with the black grout from the beginning. You don't add a lot to bathrooms. They always speak for themselves and they should be very simple and clean. Every place is so temporary when you're an expat and you're traveling so much for work. So to really choose materials that are gonna be in it for the long haul, it was a really huge indulgence. Not much is new. The rug is from Morocco. The couches are vintage and they were just reupholstered. A lot of my textiles are from my travels um, in Turkey. My favorite quilt on my bed is from Greece. The coffee table I carried a kilometer and a half down the street. It has a stone top I carried it by myself. Our style evolves as we go. And so for me, I think it's making your place not so permanently one thing that it can't adapt to yourself. I've never enjoyed such slow mornings than I have in this apartment. Coffee and a couple hours of waking up and being creative and painting or reading and taking in the energy in here. We're both creative women living in Berlin from the States and it's a lovely experience.